These silkworms have a lot riding on them. They are tasked with keeping alive an ancient Khmer tradition that was nearly wiped out a few decades ago. It's also hoped that they'll help bring economic prosperity to this area in central Cambodia's Kandal province. Rinnaran told RFA that he established this resort for traditional silk production because he wanted Cambodia's younger generation to see how silk is made. Now I'm able to produce raw silk called Khmer silk for weaving in this community. Cambodia's silk industry goes back to the 13th century, but the practice had all but disappeared in the late 1970s during the Khmer Rouge regime when all of Cambodia's cultural traditions came under threat. Now, these silk makers are trying to bring back the traditional techniques. After hatching, the silkworms are fed with finely chopped mulberry leaves. When they grow bigger, we feed them with whole leaves in large baskets. Cambodia lags behind China, India, and other regional silk producers. Its handmade silk is considered too coarse for the luxury market. But the hope is that Cambodia will one day reclaim its place as one of the world's top silk producers.